Hilton this a third down and in inches. Hodges hands off. Henderson oh. right side has room. 15, 10, 5. Touchdown, Red Raiders! I'm Brian Jensen, radio voice of Texas Tech football, and with me, my cohorts from the broadcast, John Harris and Chris Level. Welcome to TexasTech.com. Uh, we thought with this being presumably the last time that the Red Raiders will play the Aggies in conference play at least, that we'd uh, share some memories of some of the great moments through time. We'll turn to John first because he's been in the broadcast booth well since Moby was a minnow and I guess uh, since the Aggies started playing the back then, began, right? right? Yeah. You know, uh, I, I'm going to talk about a little bit about a couple of games that occurred back in the 80s. I mean, one that stands out in my mind was played at Jones Stadium. 1983, it was a 3-0 Red Raider victory. Ricky Gann kicks a long field goal in the second quarter, I, I think right before halftime, and that's it for the scoring. You beat the Aggies 3-0 on a gray, overcast, cold day in Lubbock. And we beat him a lot more times after that, but that's one of the early games that really stands out. There have been so many great games history-wise, Chris, that uh, we've been through in the broadcast booth and uh, certainly before that, uh, you know, whether it was Zach Thomas or whether it was, uh, you know, Robert Johnson with the great catch. I mean, there have been so many. I don't know where you start. I mean, Sammy Morris, you know, the, the, that, that pass down at, uh, that he catches down at A&M. I mean, you, you mentioned Robert Johnson. How about B.J. Simmons throwing eight touchdown passes? Um, you know, I mean, you, Zebby Lethridge, I think, started four years against A&M and never lost. So, I mean, there's so many memories with Texas Tech and Texas A&M. But uh, I, I have to say that uh, that, that pass from, from Harold to Johnson was about as good as you're going to get because you lead that whole game and then you, you give up the lead at the very end. almost looks like you're just there's just not enough time left, and then, you know, miracles do happen. Well, and from a selfish perspective in the booth, that was Homer call of the week, as I recall, <laughs> uh, probably because there was a yelp out of the booth. Sonny Cumbie was in the booth with us at that time, as I recall. I so. And no one has claimed that yelp up until this point, and I'll admit that I would kind of let it go. So that it, might, it, was, might. it wasn't you. Well, that's good that it wasn't me because oftentimes it is. But what I remember about that play is, is the running back who got a, a tremendous block and saved Graham Harrell and let him get the pass off. Had it not been for that, it would have never happened. But a great play late in the game. One well, that you kind of became accustomed to there for a while. The funny thing is we've talked uh, for a little while now about all these great plays, but the one that is my favorite and I think the favorite of most Red Raider fans hasn't even been brought up yet, and that is the great punt return by Wes Welker in 02 that just electrified, I think, the entire uh, Raider Nation. It was one of the greatest plays in the history of Tech football, and look what has happened to the guy that was part of that play since then. It was just a catapult not only for the Tech program and Tech's rivalry against A&M, but, uh, boy, put Wes Welker on the map as well. He's a, he's a dominant NFL player right now. I mean, he's, uh, you know, he's making a, you know, a mockery of the NFL right now as far as receiving goes. I mean, leading, leading the, the league in receptions and all these things. I mean, I think it was just a, a sign of things to come. Another memory that comes to mind is that, you know, we mentioned the Zach Thomas interception where he, he runs into the bell. I talked to Marcus Col Coleman recently, and he said he stole my interception because he said, if you look at the YouTube <laughs> clip, I'm right there ready for it. And he said, otherwise, that's me running into the bell and not him. But uh, that's another one, great memory. And it's so funny that you say that about looking at a YouTube clip. You look at the photo of the Wes Welker return, and it may be one of the greatest photos <laughs> in Tech football history, too. Right. Because of where he is when the picture is taken, you've got the core behind him. Yes and they are the jaws They're dropping stunned. and it's just like what is this it's not the same Wes Welker moment but you can go back to 1990 and the Aggies of course have their tradition of the 12th man in College Station they kick off to the Red Raiders and Rodney Blackshear returns a kickoff for a touchdown against the Aggies Red Raiders lost the game but it was the end of the 12th man kickoff cover team that Jackie Sherrill had begun so there's another memory not necessarily for all of the right reasons of winning a game but it's it's a big moment in a and m football history and rodney's kickoff return for a touchdown so what will be the great moment in the last game against a and m you don't want to miss it you want to be there at jones at and t tickets still available be sure to go uh get your tickets and be there with your headphones on so you can hear us yelping and doing whatever else we do in the broadcast booth in those great moments because there have been so many. Robert Treese, extra point. Eric Barty with the snap. Great house to hold. The extra point is up, and it is good. 
The Red Raiders have won in overtime at Kyle Field in College Station, knocking off the number 23 Texas A&M Aggies. Oh, my, what a game.